Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study chapter 4, Introduction to Problem Solving MCQ Questions. Let us begin with question number 1. What is the first step in problem solving as per the document? Option A. Testing the solution. B. Coding the algorithm. C. Analyzing the problem. D. Debugging the program. Here, option C. Analyzing the problem is the right answer. Question number 2. What is an algorithm? Option A, a set of exact steps to solve a problem. B, a programming language. C, a type of computer hardware. D, a method of debugging. Here, option A, a set of exact steps to solve a problem is the right answer. Question number 3, what does the term computerization refer to? Option A, the use of computers to develop software for automating tasks. B. The physical components of a computer system. C. The process of debugging a program. D. The network connectivity of computers. Here, option A. The use of computers to develop software for automating tasks is the right answer. Question number four. Which of the following is not a characteristic of a good algorithm? Option A. Precision. C. Uniqueness, C. Infinite steps, C. Finiteness. Here, option C. Infinite steps is the right answer. Question number 5. What does the process of coding involve? Option A. Writing an algorithm, B. Testing the program, C. Converting the algorithm into a format understood by the computer, D. Debugging the code. Here, option C. Converting the algorithm into a format understood by the computer is the right answer. Question number six. What shape is used to represent a process in a flowchart? Option A. Parallelogram. B. Rectangle. C. E, diamond. D. Circle. Here, option B. Rectangle is the right answer. Question number seven. In a flowchart, which symbol represents the start or end? Option A, diamond, B, rectangle, C, oval, D, parallelogram. Here, option C, oval is the right answer. Question number 8, what is the purpose of developing an algorithm before writing code? Option A, to debug the program, B, to convert it into machine language, C, to have a clear solution plan, D, to test the program. Here, option C, to have a clear solution plan is the right answer question number 9 which steps comes immediately after developing an algorithm option a debugging b testing c coding c analyzing the problem here option c coding is the right answer question number 10 what does gigo stand for option a garbage in garbage out option b good input good output C. Great input, great output. D. Generated input, generated output. Here, option A. Garbage in, garbage out is the right answer. Question number 11. What does finiteness in an algorithm mean? Option A. The algorithm stops after a finite number of steps. B. The algorithm has infinite steps. C. The algorithm has unique steps. D. The algorithm processes data infinitely here option a the algorithm stops after a finite number of steps is the right answer question number 12 which of the following is an essential skill for a computer science student option a problem solving b debugging c coding d all of the above here option d all of the above is the right answer question number 13 what is the output of an algorithm option a input data b set of instructions c the result of the process d a debugging report here option c the result of the process is the right answer question number 14 what does the parallelogram symbol in a flowchart represent option a process b decision c input output d start end here option c Input output is the right answer. Question number 15. Which of the following 
steps is not part of the problem solving process mentioned in the document option a analyzing the problem b developing an algorithm c compiling the code d testing and debugging here option c compiling the code is the right answer question number 16 what should be done after finalizing the algorithm option a debugging b testing c coding d analyzing the problem here option c coding is the right answer question number 17 why is it important to document the coding procedures option a to make the code run faster b to understand the logic at a later stage c to avoid writing an algorithm d to reduce the size of the program here option b to understand the logic at the later stage is the right answer question number 18 what is the role of testing in the problem solving process option a to analyze the problem b to write the algorithm c to check if the program meets user requirements d to convert the algorithm into code here option c to check if the program meets user requirements is the right answer question number 19 which of the following is a key component of analyzing a problem option a writing the program code b listing the principal components of the problem c testing the solution c debugging the problem here option b listing the principal components of the problem is the right answer question number 20 what is the primary purpose of using an algorithm option a to debug the program b to test the program c to increase reliability accuracy and efficiency d to compile the program here the right answer is option c to increase reliability accuracy and efficiency question number 21 what does the diamond shape in a flowchart represent option a process b decision c input output d start end here option b decision is the right answer so diamond shape is also called rhombus which is used for decision making purpose hence option b decision is the right answer question number 22 which programming language can be used to write a program after developing an algorithm option a only python b any high level language c only java d only c plus plus here option b any high level language is the right answer question number 23 what must be done if the program generates incorrect output option a analyze the problem b develop a new algorithm c check for logical errors d ignore the output here option c check for logical errors is the right answer question number 24 why is a roadmap important for a programmer option a to debug the program b to clearly visualize the instructions to be written c to reduce the size of the program d to increase the speed of the program here option b to clearly visualize the instructions to be written is the right answer question number 25 what is the function of a terminator symbol in a flowchart option a to represent a decision point b to indicate the start or end of the process c to show data input output d to represent a process or action here option b to indicate the start or end of the process is the right answer question number 26 what should be done after coding the algorithm option a analyzing the problem testing and debugging c developing the algorithm d writing the problem statement here option b testing and debugging is the right answer question number 27 why is precision important in an algorithm option a to reduce the number of steps b to ensure the steps are clearly stated and defined c to make the algorithm run faster d to avoid using high level language here option b to ensure the steps are clearly stated and defined is the right answer question number 28 which step in problem solving involves identifying the logical steps to reach a solution option a analyzing the problem b developing the algorithm c coding d testing and debugging here option b developing 
the algorithm is the right answer question number 29 which shape in a flowchart represents input or output data option a oval b rectangle c parallelogram d diamond here option c parallelogram is the right answer question number 30 why is uniqueness important in an algorithm option a to ensure each step is uniquely defined b to make the algorithm run faster c to reduce the number of steps d to avoid using high level language here option a to ensure each step is uniquely defined is the right answer question number 31 what is the primary objective of problem solving in computer science option a to debug the program b to automate tasks efficiently c to reduce the size of the program d to increase the speed of the program here option b to automate tasks efficiently is the right answer question number 32 in a flow chart what is used to represent a decision option a oval b rectangle c diamond d parallelogram here option c diamond is used for decision making diamond is also called rhombus question number 33 what should be the next step if an algorithm is not producing the correct output option a ignoring the error b rewriting the problem statement c revising the algorithm to check for logical errors d converting it into a flow chart here option c revising the algorithm to check for logical errors is the right answer question number 34 why is it necessary to document the coding process option a to write more complex code b to ensure the code is understandable and maintainable c to reduce the size of the code d to avoid using high level language here option b to ensure the code is understandable and maintainable is the right answer question number 35 what role does testing play in the problem solving process option a to identify any logical errors in the algorithm b to write the final algorithm c to analyze the problem statement d to convert the algorithm into code here option a to identify any logical errors in the algorithm is the right answer question number 36 what is the purpose of a flow chart option a to represent an algorithm visually b to write the code c to debug the program d to test the solution here option a to represent an algorithm visually is the right answer question number 37 which of the following is not a step in the problem solving process option a analyzing the problem b writing the program c testing and debugging d developing the algorithm here option b writing the program is the right answer question number 38 what is finiteness in the context of an algorithm option a the algorithm must have a finite number of steps b the algorithm must run indefinitely c e, the algorithm should have unique steps d the algorithm must have infinite steps here option a the algorithm must have finite number of steps is the right answer question number 39 why is it necessary to debug a program option a to increase the size of the code b to ensure the program runs without errors c to write the algorithm d to develop the problem statement here option b to ensure program runs without errors is the right answer question number 40 what does a rectangle represent in a flow chart option a decision b input output c start end d process here option d process is the right answer question number 41 which step involves checking if a program meets user requirements option a analyzing the problem b developing the algorithm c coding d testing here option d testing is the right answer question number 42 what is the outcome of an algorithm option a analyzing the problem b writing the program c producing a result d debugging the program here option c 
producing result is the correct answer question number 43 what is the significance of precision in an algorithm option a to reduce the number of steps b to ensure each step is clearly defined c to make the algorithm faster d to avoid using high level language here option b to ensure each step is clearly defined is the right answer question number 44 why is it important to develop an algorithm before coding option a to reduce the size of the program b to have a clear solution plan c to debug the code d to increase the speed of the program here option b to have a clear solution plan is the right answer question number 45 what is the role of testing in programming option a to analyze the problem b to write the code c to identify and fix errors d to develop the algorithm here option c to identify and fix errors is the right answer question number 46 what shape represents the start or end in a flowchart option a rectangle b parallelogram c oval d diamond here option c oval is the right answer question number 47 which of the following best describes uniqueness in an algorithm option a each step is distinct and clearly defined b the algorithm has infinite steps c the algorithm runs indefinitely d the algorithm is written in a high level language here option a each step is distinct and clearly defined is the right answer question number 48 what should be done if a program produces unexpected results option a ignore the results b reanalyze the problem c debug and test the program d write a new algorithm here option c debug and test the program is the right answer question number 49 what does the term coding refer to in problem solving option a writing the problem statement b converting the algorithm into a programming language c testing the program d analyzing the problem here option b converting the algorithm into a programming language is the right answer question number 50 why is debugging an essential part of problem solving in programming option a to write the algorithm b to fix errors in the code c to reduce the size of the program d to develop the problem statement here option b to fix errors in the code is the right answer i hope you understood all of these questions with their answers and if you want to practice and if you want to go through all of these questions the link is given in the description below thank you